Welcome to the Learning Landscapes Toolkit, a collection of 80 activities designed to get students outside and moving on the Learning Landscape schoolyard. At the beginning of the toolkit is the welcome section. Here we have the partners who helped to create the toolkit. RMC Health, Denver Public Schools, and staff from Learning Landscapes at the University of Colorado Denver. The toolkit is funded through a grant from the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment. Each elementary school in the Denver Public School District has a unique learning landscape schoolyard. All learning landscapes feature these common design elements, and the toolkit activities encourage use of the whole learning landscape. The toolkit activities are written to meet the Colorado Physical Education and Comprehensive Health Standards. Safety. Here is a list of questions to review to make sure your students and the environment are safe for activity. The collection lists the 80 activities featured in the toolkit. The activities are organized by time of day based on need for facilitation and access to equipment. Activities 1 through 20 are for before and after school. These activities require some facilitation and limited access to equipment. Activities 21 through 40 are for class time. These have more of an academic component. They require a facilitator and equipment that would be accessible by a classroom teacher. Activities 41 through 60 are recess activities. Students could lead these activities. They require little to no facilitation and equipment that's typically available during recess. Activities 61 through 80 are for physical education. These are skill-based activities. They require a facilitator and equipment commonly used in a PE classroom. Towards the back of the toolkit, you will find stretching, cardio, and yoga pages. These pages illustrate common stretching, cardio, and yoga movements. They can be used for creating stations, quick brain breaks, or loaded into the toolkit dice as its own activity. In the very back is an alphabetical index of all the activities in the toolkit. Let's take a closer look at an activity page. Here's the activity category catch, activity number 15. At the top of the page, it tells you when to play. The clock indicates the amount of time that will be needed. Where to play tells you the suggested location on the learning landscape to do the activity. And here's the equipment that would be needed for the activity. The how to play section generally starts with how to designate boundaries and teams for the activity, and then goes into the directions on how to play the activity. Change it up. This includes modifications on how to make the activity more or less challenging. This might include trying different locomotor skills or adjusting team sizes. Tips. This tells you the number of players appropriate for the activity and includes cues for the facilitator in leading the activity. This section might also include quick facts and vocabulary words. Heart meter. This is a feature we are still developing in the toolkit. The heart illustrates how vigorous the physical activity is. As the level of physical activity increases, so does the color in the heart. I hope you're excited to use the Learning Landscape Toolkit. We encourage you to try all the activities. It is a great way to explore your schoolyard, a healthy incentive for good behavior in the classroom, and a fun way for students to get outside and get moving.